Hello? Okay, we're having slight trouble removing my kids from the stage. Uh, um, this, is, this is the closing ceremony. Uh, meaning that unfortunately HAL 2001 is almost over. Um, I don't want to sit here on my own because it makes it seem like I did this on my own and, and that's far from the truth. I haven't done most of the work. I haven't even really done my part. So people get on up here. All the team leads, everybody else, everybody that feels they've played a major role in this, which is almost all of you, either get on stage or be here. Okay. Now there's there's a lot of people up here on stage. The stage is going to collapse. And still, as full as the stage is, this is only part of the people that have made this all happen. You have made this all happen. Um, I had a lot of fun. I think a lot of you had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? I'm thinking, should we do this again in four years? In that case, you must all help clean this mess up. Because yeah. <laughs> as you've noticed, we've, this whole infrastructure was built over the course of a week, and it needs to be out of this campus in much faster than a week, so we got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, there's a number of people here that are gonna say very practical things about what creates, what stuff should go in, and how you can help uh, to make that all happen. Uh, but the most important thing is that the next 24 hours, for me, will really determine whether you are really a community or whether you are a bunch of consumers. Because uh, these people, these people and all the other volunteers in this audience have been working, some of them since Monday. And Sunday or, or Friday or November, um, depending on who you look at. Um, and these people are hell of tired. I know I am tired. I've lost my voice. Uh, a lot of people here are far more tired than I am, than I am, and they've slept less than I have. Uh, so new, fresh people, if you have your tent packed up and if you're ready to go, spend a few hours, help these people out. This place, after dinner, turns into this giant beehive with tables and chairs being sorted out and put on big stacks so the trucks can pick them up. If you can spend a few hours, you must please help because it would otherwise drive us nuts. Let's, um, is there anybody that would have anything like not practical to say? I'm th looking at Emmanuel, if maybe he can say a few words because he's done the opening speech. Um, and then after that, uh, let's get to some practical stuff of how on earth we're gonna get all this mess out of here. Emmanuel. Well, I'm, I'm really impractical, I know. And I just want to say, as, as somebody who came over here from America, and I'm sure I, I can join all the other people who came over here from America, uh, this is really something that um, we don't see very often, people getting together and, and just making the entire weekend, the entire event work. And you all deserve the credit for that, as well as the people who coordinated it, because um, it, it, it's, it's just such an amazing event when people get together and, and things go off without a hitch. I don't think there are any major incidents other than a few people ping flooding somebody someplace and that was about it. Um, other than that, you know, it rained a little bit, so what? We were all happy, we all had fun, and um, I haven't seen any major catastrophes or messes or anything like that, so as Rob said, let's please make sure the place gets cleaned up because that's a very vital part of it. And if we're, uh, if we're left here for several days having to um, clean up with the same 50 or 60 people, uh, they're going to get angry, and then when they're angry, they won't want to do this again in four years. And uh, well, you know how it how it goes. 
So let's all get together. That's, it's not over yet. If you want Hal to continue for another um, few hours or so, then stay with us and help us clean up. Thanks. People with practical information regarding the cleanup. Timo, you were here somewhere. You had a lot of practical stuff. Well, not an awful lot. Um, but well, the main thing for my, the power team, uh, we've look, been looking after all the electricity on the fields. We've given you cables and stuff. Um, we would like all the extension boxes, extension cables, that kind of stuff that you took or got from us from behind the tent. Back in the crates, there is crates along the street behind this tent, steel crates. Please put your cables there. Try to keep them a bit separate and roll them up a bit neat so that we have less of a job to do to get it all back to the, to the company, the rental company. Um, the rest of the heavy cables and the main distribution boxes you can leave on the field. I will need about 10 or 15 people to help me clean this up, to roll up all the heavy cables and put them back in the crates because they have to be shipped to the next festival tomorrow. So I need about 10 or 15 people. Please come to me after the speech and uh, I'll uh, sort out what we do. Not only for tonight, but also for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, when, yeah, when, when is power going off? When is network going off? Network goes down this evening, as far as I know. Yeah. Okay, um, as far as this tent and the next tent, unfortunately, these two tents have to be empty the soonest because they're going to be picked up tomorrow morning. So, uh, by 9 this evening, we would like all your private belongings to be out of this tent and out of this other tent, so we can start working on getting our stuff and the, and the, the benches and the tables out and, and removing all the decorations and getting these trusses with lights down. Uh, so please help us by removing your personal belongings from these two main tents by 9 after dinner. Um, any further major practical things? About 3,000, that's what I heard. Um, 2,800, 3,000 people were at home. Um, I'm never good at speeches, but my question to anyone, you've all had a tent on the area, and uh, some of the areas are really, a lot of garbage is lying around. If everyone makes, cleans up his or her own area, get yourself a garbage bag behind the info point and clean up his or her own area, put it along the road, that makes it for us a lot more easy to clean. Any stuff that you've borrowed, tables, whatever, I don't know what, all's, what, uh, what have, has been uh, borrowed. If you can bring it back to the field behind the tent, that makes it a lot more easy for us because I've been looking around on the fields and there's lots of stuff that was borrowed from the tent. It's lying around. If everyone brings back what he or she borrowed and puts it on, behind the grass, on the grass, that makes it a lot easier for us. Yeah, and the other way around. Okay, I also have uh, a few small points. Uh, the first is that the radio transmitter from Space Station 5 has to be delivered in Terneuzen tomorrow uh, during the day. So I'm looking for people who are traveling towards the southwest of the Netherlands, perhaps going to Belgium, and who uh, are willing to make a small detour to return this transmitter to the uh, rental company. Um, report to me if you think that you uh, fit this description. Um, the other... <laughs> yes, you're not allowed to keep it. <laughs> The other thing is that um, the uh, field on the other side of the road has to be uh, cleared tomorrow morning at 12 o'clock in the morning. Not the so, field. Hmm? Not, the field. Not, not the entire field, but the, the largest part of the field. Uh, if you have a tent standing there, uh, then we would like to ask you to uh, take it down tomorrow. You can uh, move your stuff to this side of the field. There will be activities uh, by the university for the uh, introduction period on that field in the afternoon. So they already want to have it by that time. Uh, then the final thing, uh, some cars uh, are at the moment uh, parked on, on grass fields. 
Um, please uh, wait with removing them uh, until all the glass fibers have also been removed from the field. Uh, we would like to uh, have them in one piece back. <laughs> we don't know yet for what purpose, but maybe we can use them again within four years or for other fun projects. They did cost quite a lot of money, so if we can do something useful with it, then that would be great. Okay, thanks. Hi. Uh, on behalf of the program committee, thank you to our 100 speakers. And on behalf of the broadcasting team, we're going to have a public archive up and running. We don't know when yet, but anytime soon. And we're just lacking one tape. If any of you taped uh, Peter de Ruiter's cyber actions, please report to Daniel, head of our broadcasting team. Give a cheer to Daniel. Um, a very important thank you and a big round of applause should go to the University of Twente. Um, wait, 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 wait. The applause comes later. Uh, there's been a lot of pressure on the university not to associate itself, uh, itself with a bunch of thugs like us. Um, and the university has stood for the freedom to learn, the freedom to explore, which is academic freedom. So one big round of applause for the University of Twente. stretch this section forever and ever and, and have like thousands of applauses and, and I'd love to, uh, but I'd like to keep this practical. I'd like to keep this practical. The network team. So there's like 15 teams, but yeah, the network team. Yay! The people that have been running the background. There's all the... The guy with the blue hair that doesn't want to get on stage. <laughs> Thank you. And this is not the end, this is the beginning of you guys building the next version. Because these people are fed up with it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get this place ready to serve dinner. Um, if there's anybody with really practical stuff like you must or you must not, uh, one more thing, if you leave this place, if you're driving to Amsterdam or to Germany or to wherever, take hitchhikers, fill up your car. <laughs> leave off? Yeah, leave off. <laughs>